Now to Troutman, what I've got on here is a rough to a medium rough cone is how I start my edges. I sand my coyote composite, almost the same as I do plastic or any other carbon socket, and turn the wheel on high, run across my inside edge, my outside edge, and then get ready to polish it. If you're having trouble with it cutting and being too abrasive, go ahead and run your wheel on slow and try going with the wheel when you cut your coyote composite and you'll find that it takes less off and it'll stop it from being weavy. So after using the rough cone on this application I'm going to go ahead and use a finer cone and just go with the direction of the cone and just hit my edges. I could have done it with the cone before but just to show a, a technique that will work really well after I go rough I go down to a finer cone run my outside edge inside edge and then I get ready to polish. All right, now we're going to get to our blue scotch bright cone. And as you can see, it's pretty well used, and it's been ran on high speed a lot and put a lot of grooves in it. If you run it on slow and polish inside out, just like when you sand, you can avoid grooving that up, and your cone will last twice as long. Same thing with the tie curl wheel. When you're using it on plastic, you have to get your angle correct so you don't groove your wheel. So now I'm on slow speed, and I just take my time. Work the inside, work the outside. Don't use a lot of pressure. I just make sure I'm polishing everything I can. By running it on slow with minimal hand pressure, you can just take your time and really work it back and forth, outside edge, the very top leading edge, the inside edge, without creating that sharpness. You're just blunting everything down. Now at this point, I'm done. But if your edge still feels a little abrasive to you, part of it's due to just the dryness of the composite or even carbon braid. So what I found is if I take a stick of paraffin wax, you can get it at any grocery store, just regular canning paraffin wax, I turn the machine on and run that wax across that wheel and it builds up a little bit of a coating on the wheel, then I kick it back on slow and I just work my edges over again. That little bit of wax acts as a, as a coating, it takes the dryness off of the edge of the lamination and when you're finished it really turns out nice. And I found that the slow wheel with my finishing cones was 90% of the trick to getting them smooth. We have one other little technique that Brad likes to use. So one of the concerns with um, laminating coyote composites is the finished edge that you get. This will leave a nice smooth finish. Uh, I take my hand now after buffing it out, really press on that. You're not gonna feel any of that composite inside of there. It actually finishes better than carbon sockets I've done. In the past, those tend to stay really jagged. I use the rough cone, the roughest cone you can do. Um, you go ahead and take that down to your uh, trim lines, and then you can go ahead and take a uh, medium buffing cone, which is a blue buffing cone, and you just go ahead, I start with the outside edge, kind of start rounding it off is what I'm doing. Is Starting with the outside, then I go back in with that cone. And then I go outside, all the way around, go outside, or buff it, and then I go inside. So you're trying to create this um, smooth, round edge, not a square edge. You don't want any square edge. Square edge is gonna mean it's sharp, or make it sharp. After I've done with the uh, medium buffing cone, I've used, take the uh, pink Tycro wheel, and the pink tiger oil just do the same thing and it just gives it a nice buffing edge. And then just bring it over to your sink with uh, some Scotch-Brite and go ahead and wet it down. Wet your Scotch-Brite down and then go ahead and uh, finish it off with that. This leaves a really nice smooth edge to it. There's no squareness, there's no high spots. Nothing's gonna cut me. I'm gonna press my finger as hard as I can on there. There's no sharp um, to it. So um, that's the really nice thing about doing that extra step with the uh, Scotch Bright here. Uh, is it gives you that little bit more of a smoothness than the Tycro wheel can give you.